On this week's episode of the Campus Countdown, we're getting a head start on 2022 with three stories that are sure to have implications throughout the entire year. Schools have announced that they'll be starting the beginning of the spring semester remotely due to the Omicron variant, and schools plan to continue test option policies for college admissions. Campus reform reporter Addison Smith joins us this week to break down the upcoming higher ed policy and legal debates this year. 2021 sure had its surprises, but what will 2022 bring? Let's find out. I'm Alexa Schwerha, and you're watching The Campus Countdown. In our number three story of the week, a growing number of colleges made the decision to start classes in 2022 online. The length of time these students will be barred from in-person classes differs, with schools such as Stanford University, George Washington University, Northwestern, University of Illinois at Chicago, and Emerson reverting back to in-person instruction after two weeks. Other schools are taking measures even further. Keene University will retain a remote schedule through January 30th, while Trinity University postponed all classes by extending winter break until January 31st. A number of Ivy League schools as well have reverted back to remote learning for the time being, including Harvard, Cornell, University of Pennsylvania, Yale, Columbia, and Barnard College. The interesting point to consider about these announcements, however, is that they come directly following additional COVID-19 precautions that mandate students must receive the booster shot in order to return to campus. But now it appears there is no campus for them to return to. The decision also comes after President Joe Biden promised through a tweet, we are not going back to March 2020, but the parallels remain. Schools are reverting back to early pandemic tactics, and it's unclear when students will be done having to do remote learning. Next up, we're joined by campus reform reporter Addison Smith to fill us in on what legislation campus reform will be watching throughout the new year. Addison, welcome, and thanks for joining the countdown today. Thanks, Alexa. It's great to be back. Campus reform has been tracking major legislation in higher education and recently compiled a list of what top issues will dominate 2022. Topics to look out for include the fate of critical race theory in classrooms, another freeze on student loan forgiveness, and the Biden's Build Back Better plan. Critical race theory has been on the hot seat of legislation and more states are preparing to enact legislation to bar the curriculum in schools and universities. According to campus reform reporting, 18 states have proposed legislation that would ban the teaching of CRT in K through 12 in the classroom. Among them include Florida with Governor DeSantis introducing the Woke Act, the Stop Woke Act. And South Dakota, as Governor Nome recently introduced similar legislation. The Biden administration recently announced an extension on the student loan freeze until May 1st after facing backlash from progressive allies. Campus Forum has covered recent protests outside the White House earlier in December, where students made a racket to catch the attention of the administration to call for student loan forgiveness, equipped with a full band inquire. Finally, the Biden administration will continue grasping at straws in an attempt to pass the Build Back Better Act. The legislation is currently waiting to be sent to the Senate floor, where its likelihood of being passed dwindled after failing to rally unanimous party support. The plan has faced an uphill battle when it comes to fulfilling Biden's campaign promises. As it originally came under fire after removing a provision ensuring free community college ahead of passing in the Senate, in the House rather. Thanks, Addison. 2022 is on track to be an eventful year with a lot to keep an eye on, and campus reform will be there every step of the way. Moving on to our top story of the week are college admissions easing their requirements. Harvard College recently made headlines as it announced it will continue its test optional policy for admissions through 2026. The statement opened. Due to continuing COVID-19 pandemic, Harvard College is extending our standardized testing policy through the 2021-22 application cycle. We will allow students to apply for admission without requiring ACT or SAT results. Stanford as well will forego mandatory tests through the 2022-2023 admission cycle. However, when the University of Wisconsin announced their intent to implement test optional policy through 2025, State Representative Dave Murphy spoke out. In an interview with Campus Reform, Murphy stated that the decision to continue with the test optional policy was not made in light of COVID-19, but because of the wishes of the university administrators. Murphy stated that the removal of mandatory standardized tests like the ACT and the SAT will make applying for colleges less fair. Using essays instead of testing scores would make the decision subjective rather than objective. The change of policy has serious implications for how the caliber of colleges and universities are maintained and upheld. 
By removing standardized tests, all that is left are sets of extracurriculars and achievements, which could produce objective admission standards. Standardized tests, such as the ACT and the SAT, provide one element of objective, apples-to-apples -apples comparisons between applicants through which they can demonstrate their academic ability. Without a standard baseline for admittance, students have no way to prepare themselves for the college of their choice. Subjective standards for admissions are unfair to the applying students because they provide no guidelines or standards that must be met, and therefore do not provide a set of goals that the students can actively work towards to achieve. Relying on subjective measures of talent to grant admittance to the nation's highest level of academia will not level the playing field. Of course, students should be able to showcase their talents through their college applications, but that is done through extracurriculars and achievements and should be considered in addition to the baseline scores. This week's woke tweet of the week goes to Dallas College professor Andrew McGregor. The tweet expressed criticism of John Madden only hours after the coach's passing last Tuesday. The professor started his thread by declaring he has a lot of opinions on John Madden and targeted the popular video game as glamorizing violence and dehumanizing black athletes. He equates this to establishing a plantation cosplay in the era of fantasy football. The tweet received significant backlash on social media as people flocked to defend the former coach and commentator. Liberals, especially in the education field, continue to prove they do not know when to refrain from interjecting their unwanted opinions. This attack on football legend was grossly uncalled for and is an incredible display of disrespect. Well, that's all we have this week. If you're watching on YouTube, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. For all the latest in liberal craziness on college campuses across the country, be sure to follow Campus Reform on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. We will be back next week with another episode. I'm Alexa Schwerha, and thanks for watching.